Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna study lesson 26. Here you can find the keywords of our lesson. You need to open your book, read the context and find a clue for each word. Don't forget to use the four elements of context which are synonyms, antonyms, examples or explanations. Here you can find the word anonymous. This word functions as an adjective. That means it describes a noun or a pronoun. It means self-governing or independent. For example, Sinai became autonomous in the year 1973. The antonym of this word is dependent. Here we can see the word collaborate. This word functions as a verb. That means it expresses an action. It means to work together, to cooperate with the enemy. For example, we need to collaborate to finish our task. This form doesn't have an antonym. Here you can see the word collective. This word functions as an adjective. That means it describes a noun or a pronoun. Collective means gathered in a whole, specifying a singular noun meaning a group of individuals. For example, we made a collective decision to go on strike. The antonym of this word is individual. Here you can find the word depict. This word functions as a verb, that means it expresses an action. It means to picture in words, to represent a picture or a sculpture, or to describe. For example, I like the way she depicts the characters in her novels. This form does not have an antonym. Here, you can see the word disrupt. This word functions as a verb, that means it expresses an action. It means to disturb or interfere with the order or progress, to break apart, to split up. For example, the barking dogs disrupted my sleep. The antonym of this word is to arrange. Here is the word functional. This word functions as an adjective. That means, it describes a noun or a pronoun. It means, useful, practical, able to perform a function. For example, the flashlight was still functional after I dropped it. The antonym of this word is, inactive. Here you can see the word, paramount. This word functions as an adjective. That means, it describes a noun or a pronoun. It means, Chief in importance, supreme, dominant. For example, the paramount goal of parents is to keep their kids safe. The antonym of this word is least. Here you can see the word reluctant. This word functions as an adjective and that means it describes a noun or a pronoun. It means not eager or unwilling. For example, we were reluctant to get involved. The antonym of this word is eager. Here you can find the word transcribe. This word functions as a verb. That means it expresses an action. It means to produce a written or typed copy from another, such as oral speech or shorthand notes. For example, the senator's speech was transcribed as a newspaper article. This form doesn't have an antonym. Here you can see the word virtual. This word functions as an adjective, which means it describes a noun or a pronoun. This word means pertaining to something that exists in effect, though not in name or fact. For example, the website provides a virtual tour of the stadium. The antonym of this word is real.
At the end of our lesson, don't forget to answer exercise 2 and exercise 3 and send them via WhatsApp. Thanks for watching.